Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First of all, I'll give all honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Today I'll be doing a lesson on the evidence of scriptures and what things you could use to prove that the Bible is real. Archaeological things. The first thing the first thing I like to do is read a verse. Book of Second Kings, chapter three, verse four through five. Nevertheless, he cleaved unto the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, which made Israel to sin. He departed not therefrom. And Misha, king of Moab, was a sheep master, and rendered unto the king of Israel a hundred thousand lambs and a hundred thousand rams with the wool. But it came to pass when Ahab was dead, and the king of Moab rebelled against, against the king of Israel. And King Jeroboam went out of Samaria at the same time and numbered all Israel. So the thing you could use to prove this verse is the Moabite stone. The Misha steel, also known as the Moabite stone, is a steel set up around 840 BC by King Misha of Moab. So they found an, they found an actual archaeological thing to prove that this existed discovered in 1868 through 70 all right next verse i'd like to touch on is the book of ezra chapter 1 verse 1 now in the first now in the first year salaki now in the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, that the word of the Lord, that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled. The Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, that he made a proclamation throughout all the kingdom and put it also in writing, saying, Thus said the king of Persia, The Lord God of heaven had given me all the kingdoms of the earth, and he had tight charged me to build him a house at Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Who's, who is there among you of all his people? His God be with him, and let him go up to Jerusalem, which is in Judah, and build a house of the Lord God of Israel. He is the God, which is in Jerusalem. And whosoever remaineth in any place where he sojourneth, let the men of his place helped him with silver and with gold and with goods and with beasts besides the free will offering for the house of the house of God that is in Jerusalem so the book so the book was talking about King Cyrus a king of Persia an actual king now let me go back to safari to prove it King Cyrus there Cyrus II of Persia, commonly known as Cyrus the Great, and also Cyrus the Elder of, by the Greeks, was the founder of the Academian Empire, the first Persian Empire, which corresponds to the exact same, same time as Ezra and Nehemiah. But the other thing, the other thing about Cyrus was that he was prophesied by the prophet Isaiah. Let's go get it. Book of Isaiah. Chapter 44. Verse 24 through 28. Thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb. I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretcheth forth the heavens, that spreadeth abroad the earth by myself. And frustrated the tokens of the liars, and make it the viners mad, that turneth wise men backward, and make it their knowledge foolish, that confirmeth the word of his servant, and performeth the counsel of his messengers, that said to Jerusalem, Thou shalt be inhabited, and to the cities of Judah, ye shall be built, and I will raise up this decay this the raise up the decayed places thereof. That said to the deep, be dry, and I will dry up thy rivers. That said of Cyrus, he is my shepherd, 
and shalt perform all my pleasure, even saying to Jerusalem, Thou shalt be built, and to the temple thy foundation shall be laid. So, I kid you not, this is the prophet Isaiah telling telling us that there will be a man coming whose name will be Cyrus, king of the Persia, that will help build Jerusalem. All right, let's continue on. Thus said the Lord to his anointed to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holden to subdue nations before him. I will loose the... I will loose the loins of kings open before him the two leave gates and the gates shall not be shut just talking about the gates that ezra and nehemiah and the other israelites that came back helped build i will go before thee and make the crooked places straight i will break in pieces the gates and brass and cut and sunder the bars and i will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden and hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that i the Lord which called thee by thy name, and the God of Israel. For Jacob my servant's sake, and Israel my elect, I have I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God besides me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me, that they might that they may know from the rising of from the sun of the sun and from the west, that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is none. I form the light and create darkness, make the peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Drop down, ye heavens, from above, and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open, and let the, them bring forth salvation, and let righteousness spring up together. I, the Lord, have created it. Woe unto him that striveth with his maker. Let the pot shirt strive with the pot strive with the pot shirt of the earth. Shall the clay say unto him that fashioned it, What makest thou? And that's a that's a precept uh, of uh, cutting people. Telling when they say uh why did God make me like this? Reading on or or thy work, he had no hands. Well unto him that saith unto his father, Why begettest thou? Or to the woman, What hast thou forth? Thus saith the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, and his Maker, Ask me of, of things to come concerning my sons, and concerning the work of my hands, command ye me. I have made the earth, and I created man upon it. I, my hands, have stretched out the heavens, and all their lost have I commanded. I have listen up. I have raised him up in righteousness, and I will direct all his ways. He shall build my city, Cyrus, and he shall let go my captives, not for price nor reward, said the Lord of hosts. Now you could link that up with um. Let's go back to the book of Ezra, chapter six, verse three. In the first year of Cyrus, in the first year of Cyrus, the king, the same Cyrus, the king made a decree concerning the house of God that at Jerusalem, let the house be built at the same place where they offer sacrifices and let the foundations thereof be strong. Be laid the height thereof three score cubits and the breadth thereof three score cubits. Now let's go back to the Let's go back to the, uh, so I can show you when these two, uh, prophets lived. First, first, I like to uh, read this. Isaiah reign, Isaiah's reign was 52 years of the 8th century BC and said, uh, and Isaiah, Isaiah must have begun his ministry a few years before Isaiah's death, which you can find about in the book of Kings. Probably in the 740s BC, Isaiah lived until the 14th century of the reign of Hezekiah, who died 698. He may have been contemporary for some years with Manasseh, which is a which is also another king. But let's just let's just say Isaiah wrote about that prophecy in the year 710 BC. Now. 
how uh Salakia. Excuse me. Alright. The reign of Cyrus the Great lasted thirty years. Cyrus built his empire by first conquering the Median Empire, the Lydian Empire, and eventually the Neo Babylonian Empire. Spruce to you, Cyrus is a real man. He reigned from five thirty nine to five thirty BC. His predecessor was Nebuchadnezzar. Or uh, you could read the rest of them, but let's say let's say it was he started his reign at five forty. So that would mean that the book of that that would mean that the prophet Isaiah prophesied Cyrus one hundred seventy years before. That was a long one, but the last one, the last subject I like to hit is called the Los Lunas Decalogue Stone, which is basically something that was found in southern Mexico or around in the South Americas. Which is basically the Ten Commandments reading in Paleo, written in Paleo Hebrew. There. Or I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah for letting me continue to spread out this word. Stay strong, Israel. Shalom.